I'm just a simple girl that likes to be extra. What is up guys? It's your girl LaShane LaFon here and I'm back with another video and today's video is just going to be a little update video on uh, Navy Wife Life. It has been almost a month since Babe has gone off to deployment and I will say like it has kind of gone by fast. I will say that. Excuse how I sound. I literally last night I kind of I don't even know how I got sick but I started getting the snuffles and this morning it didn't get better so I just took some NyQuil so hopefully you know it works that's why I got this on to like keep my neck covered and yeah but anywho so it has almost been a month it is October 6th we're already in October so that always that like helps my spirit just a little bit because we're already in October um it's not exactly a month but it's yeah next week will be a month that he has been gone and like I said I will say it has gone pretty fast um basically like everybody suggested to me I just been staying busy um really with my job first okay let me say I was not too happy about my hours like it was cool at first but then when I realized um babe like when it finally hit me that Rashawn was actually leaving it was kind of like if I did want to do stuff or people do ask me to do stuff it was like on the weekends and I work on the weekends and I don't get off till nine o'clock I work one to nine <clears throat> excuse me so I work one to nine and I'm just like y'all asking me to do stuff and I'm just at work like you know so it has its pros and cons but I'm only off on Thursdays and Sundays but really I, I literally just been praying and like talking to God and meditating like a lot more and God was just telling me like this is good for you like this shift that you're on especially for this transition like this is good for you to be on this shift because really I go to the gym in the morning come home get something to eat get dressed and go to work like I don't have time to be sitting there like thinking about like what was me like you know what I mean somebody mentioned me but yeah I don't have time to think about like oh what was me and blah blah so I feel like this shift is the good for me right now like for the time being um but on my days off since babe has been gone I pretty much my days off I have not been like home just chilling I have been making plans and being more social so th Thank God for that, for getting me on my bubble and actually talking to people and reaching out to people. Um, people at my church has been very supportive. My church family has been super, super supportive. Um, so yeah, I pretty much be hanging out with um, either some girls from church or... <clears throat> excuse me again, you see? The devil trying to take take my job, but I ain't gonna let him have it. <clears throat> I either hang out with people from church or hang out with some of my co-workers like yesterday Thursday was my day off and I went to the mall with some of my co-workers and that was cool because that mall that outlet mall was kind of was popping I've never been there before so that was nice and then I another thing I just started I just got a personal trainer so I will be um like in heavy with this personal um fitness stuff because I like I said I don't want to gain that like deployment weight while he's gone and I want to be sexy for my man when he get back you know what I'm saying so yeah I got me a personal trainer it's an all women's gym so far so good I like the classes I've been to two classes one class you get free and then the other the other one I actually went in there and paid for everything you know the training package that I got so yeah it was like super cool I like that so I'm setting up with that next week and actually she's gonna like personal train me and tell me how I need to eat and what I need to be doing and like you know all that stuff to make it a lifestyle and not just this one time thing you know because I really me and Sean both um trying to get our health together be more active especially me because Rashawn is already active like he works out a ton it's just our body types we can't do we can't eat how we want to eat and then not do something because i know a lot of his brothers 
they eat like freaking trash and they're like freaking they're not they like they like muscle skinny if you know what I mean if you know what I mean and Rashawn is not like that like he has to work for his body but anywho so yeah I'm starting the personal trainer honestly everybody what they said is right just staying busy and not just thinking about like he's not here and I talk to Rashawn almost every day um he's in well I guess I can't tell you where he's at but he's overseas and I don't know if I t actually told y'all where he's at but if I did mm, whatever but he's overseas and we get to talk pretty much every day he has his phone and we Skype so it's not that bad the only I'm not gonna lie I do get sad sometimes like yeah, I pretty get sad like at night when I literally lay down in bed by myself and I'm just like dang I miss babe like you know but other than that I haven't had any trouble sleeping thank God for that and if I do um if I can't sleep I just like turn some soothing music on and then I'm kind of out but yeah like that's pretty much it I just want to give you guys an update because I think I'm gonna do monthly updates instead of weekly updates because I feel like I could tell you a little bit more if I do monthly updates so yeah it is almost has been month one so yeah hopefully times keep on flying by and yeah because if it keeps on going like this like I'm gonna be straight and my family's supposed to come down with me for the holidays or for me for the holidays his parents is coming down for well his family is going to come down for thanksgiving and then my parents is going to come down for christmas so i'm super grateful that both of my both of my parents because i call his parents mom dad like it's no mother-in-law no father-in-law like we all family now like I, they've been super supportive they call me every day especially his mom me and his mom is like super cool like i be talking to mom like we girlfriends like so I love, I definitely love the relationship that we share and I'm super grateful for that. Um, my parents, my dad calls me like every day. Um, he's probably going to call me now. It's 11.19. He's probably going to call me before I go to work. So, yeah. I just know my dad calls me all the time because he's not used to having like his girl somewhere that he can't be. Or like he just can't up and drive and go to. So, at first it was kind of like okay dad like you call me every day but I know where he's coming from and I know he just wants to check up with me and make sure I'm okay so I'm just super thankful and grateful that I have the support system that I do and yeah so this is month one we have six more to go but yeah I'm like super optimistic I am I do have my days where I get sad because I miss him, but other than that, like, I'm cool, I'm chilling, got the house, you know. Life is good. I will say I'm ready for this um, separation pay, though. They need to hurry up and put it in the bank account, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, that is today's update, and I hope this helps somebody in some way, and especially if you're going through the same thing or you're about to go through the appointment, Please comment below and also if you want to subscribe to me, we can connect with each other, we can support each other. Definitely I'm all about um, support. Yeah. So if you like what you see here, definitely hit that subscribe button and like and comment if you would like as well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed um, weekend because today is Friday. So yeah, do something fun, do something adventurous. and. Yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.